to that. Um, there's even a tricycle one where you will literally be kind of like, you have the most dust. I'm cheering for the underdog here. Come on, Bowser. Are you cheering for Bowser? Of course. You also shove other players into the way. Oh, oh man. perfect. So you don't have to be nice. <laughs> Again, you just... Do Um, and then just kind of building into that as well, each of the characters having their own personality, because instead of just rolling a normal dice block, mm -hmm. they now have a, a, a special dice block for each character. Right. So like Peach right there, you can see she has a zero. Oh, sorry, sorry. She can either roll a zero, a two, four, 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 or six. Right. You start playing with these different dice blocks that kind of change how you can look at the game. Some of them could be like zeros or tens. Okay. Move along the board. Some could be you get coins or get or move on the space. So there's little advantage you can start looking at with these like special Mario dice block or Peach dice block that give you a little bit change above the game. Interesting. Okay, so let's delve into it. We've got a couple of people playing off screen. Yes. Uh, so what are we looking at here? So this is for one of the first stages we're showing off right now. Right now they're just starting at the very beginning of the game. They're all making their moves. Different items right now are in the game. She's using actually what, a Fly Guy ticket. We're now Fly Guy will simply grab Luigi. Mm -hmm. We kind of preset. We get, you normally don't start the game with items, but we kind of cheat a little bit and got, give ourselves some items to start it's the game. It's E3. It's E3. It makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, so that's a, a buddy phone is the ability, you'll have the ability to call allies okay. in the game, which is the previous version of Mario Party. Yeah. We have allies where the other characters that were not selected can help you out. So when you jump into the mini games, right. which we'll get to right after Luigi, oh, Bowser goes, the mini games is that you, if you have an ally with you, the computer will control that ally. So let's okay. say Yoshi was with Luigi, where they're playing a mini game, you, Luigi, Yoshi would start running around and doing things to help out. Right. Yoshi coming in clutch. <laughs> I love the, the bow tie. The bow tie? I like it very much. Is What's Toad the only one that dressed up for this? What? Is Toad the only one that dressed up for this? Uh, Toadette is also, Toadette actually is the only one who has the stars. So the main goal is to move along the board each individually <laughs> to get the most stars okay. possible. Um, and Toadette is the person who has that. So when you bump into Toadette, you can then buy a star for 10 coins. OK. But, uh, and then once you grab that, she then moves to a different location. But she does also wear a bow tie. So obviously, with Mario Party games, the uh, Absolute biggest draws are the mini games, right? Like, yep. with the Nintendo Switch, with like the HD Rumble and all the different things, are there new mini games you're able to do that were not possible? And there Nintendo are some mini games for sure that are there. Um, in fact, in the game, this was a pretty similar one, kind of just going back and forth, catching things, like trying to catch the the right fruit, but not the spike balls. Yep. Um, but the trick with that one too, there's there's some other mini games. One where you're actually controlling a frying pan. Okay. You actually have to. There's a cube of meat. Oh, okay. You kind of have to subtly like use this to flip it, but not and burnt, cook all sides of the cube. Yeah. So it really takes advantage of that. Um, there's even a tricycle one where you will literally be kind of like, you have to like rotate it to keep the right tricycle, which is really funny, especially when you play with the Goomba character, because mm -hmm. Goomba has no hands. Okay. So you kind of see him kind of pedaling along with his feet, trying to do the best he can on that situation. But Mario and Luigi, the brothers, they won. Well done. All happy Very against nice. Bowser and Peach. Get some coins. And you can actually, in between, if you do win a mini game, you can press another button to kind of like high five each other, or you can ignore the other player if you want to as well. Oh, what? You can nice. leave them hanging? You can leave them hanging. <laughs> you can leave them hanging completely. It's awesome. It wouldn't be Mario Party if you couldn't be that heel of the group. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but there are, yeah, there are different games. There's, one, there's free for alls, there's 2v2, which we just saw a 2v2 mini game right there. Yep. There are also three, there's one versus three, depending on where people are on the spaces and all the different kind of mayhem that goes on in there. So now she's using a regular dice block, Peach here. Off she goes. Oh, it's a special event. It moves the blocking points, so now it changes. The interesting part now, by doing that, uh, this part right here, if you notice, though, that part of the map kind of just goes in a circle. Right. And Toadette is actually further up. She's up ahead, up those steps straight up ahead in order to get to that location to get that first one. So Mario used an item, but didn't help him that much in that situation. But you do have the ability to warp to a different location like he just did. They're kind of playing around that way. So again, it's all the idea of kind of playing together, going through as quickly as possible, not quickly as possible, just having fun encountering all these different things, like the item shop, yep. buying different things. But yeah, four players at once. Uh, you can play with computer players as well, but we're kind of showing off, and it's in my personal favorite way for people playing together. Do you have to use the Joy-Cons? Could you use like a Pro Controller or would that? The you do need the Joy-Con okay. controller, especially as saying like there's certain games that you have to kind of play with motion. Yeah, like yeah. The idea is that it is the Joy-Con controller. And it's meant to be simplistic that way. So right. One, you got two controls out of the box, and at the same time, you can now play with your friends really easily. It's just not too many buttons. That's kind of what it's known for. It really wants to take advantage of that kind of motion control and that freedom it has in the game. Sure. Okay. Luigi's paid the toll. Luigi paid the toll. Luigi's trying to get to Toadette. Oh, where is Toadette? Toadette is somewhere on the map. 
I do not know that in all my time with Mario Party games, I've ever won a game. Ever. Never won? I don't Never think won? so. It's like oh. Monopoly for me. I always lose. I just, it's the journey there that's fun, I guess. I don't know. It's the journey. Yeah. Well, now you have a chance to play again. And see I have bad luck. You can finally get your first win. Yeah, absolutely. Say. Okay. Here we go. We get uh, Bowser's getting offered. Uh. Nope. Couldn't pay for it. But now we're here. And there are different events, like, the, and the stages do have things that happen as well. There actually, there's like a boulder in this stage. If you hit a boulder at a certain spot, the boulder will come down and knock everybody out of the area back there. Up, oh, we get a free for all. All right. Let's see what we get. It does randomly select the gr gridiron okay. gauntlet. Oh, this is what a fun one. So you're gonna see all these different uh, characters, these enemies coming through the screen, trying to hit the hit the players, and the players have to all dodge. Okay. Right. And the goal is to be the last one standing. Oh wow. Okay. Kind of like football, I guess. I guess that's called the gridiron. But I mean, as a British person, this is pretty much my. But you can also only shove other. Yes. You also shove other players into the way. Oh, oh man. Perfect. So you don't have to be nice. <laughs> Again, you just do characters like Bowser? Would they have like a weight advantage in that regard? No, like, they're pretty even. Okay. Pretty even balance this one. But Trevor, get yeah. You have you get hit three times in this one. So once you get three times, then you're forced out into the you're next out. one. Oh. <laughs> oh man, Mario's out. No. Mario's out. Oh, oh and out. each. Yay! Good job, Peach. Who's playing Peach? Yeah, good job, Joe. <laughs> Joe Sullivan with the win. There we go back to the map. Now you do need ten coins. Like Toadette is. Oh, you guys still can even. There's even an ability that we'll see. Let me get to the next section after this. Is I will ask Sarah. Sarah, can you show the map? There's some new bells and whistle features here as well. All right. So you see the whole map here that's going on. Um, Peach is going first. Oh, go down the map real quick. Yeah, you have a whole board that's going on here, and you can actually see what, what the kind of the pathways are that exist. Oh, okay. So you get an idea. So that you can see that blue line clearly shows that if you get there, you'll be kind of stuck. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Yeah, uh, being able to see that overhead. So yeah, yeah. You, know, you should plan ahead what you're trying to do. And you can see Toadette is up there at the top, waiting up there. So we'll yeah. see if one of these guys can get to go Toadette. All right. And it even tells you what each spot is too, if you don't know. Oh. Okay. A little bit more like quality of life things going in the yeah. game to really make it anyone can jump in, see what's going on, plan, strategize, go for that first win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get for yeah. So long. It'll happen. And it'll be historic. Yeah. You'll have to tweet about it and share with yeah. the world when yeah. you get that first big win in Mario exactly. Party. We can't hear audio right now on the stage, but are those uh are, what what are they what's the big cinder block? The womps? The yes, womps. the womps. Do they have the iconic like uh, uh. They do yes, they yes. do like, you kind of okay, great. the womps, you make that sound as they move around. I'm sold. <laughs> I said day one. Yes. It's true. The good old womps. But now Mario's trying to go faster. We'll see where Mario gets. But 11, we'll see how An far. 11? He used the golden mushroom to help him out. Right. So you can even, even here, you can view the map, too, to see where you would land based on the number of space you have left to go. So will he get there? Ooh, oh. one spot short. But you get another item to store away. Very nice. Now it should be, whose turn is next? Is it Luigi? We'll probably try to get one more mini game in, and then we'll kind of show off the other mode with Toad's Rec Room. Hopefully, someone can yep. make it to the star. Oh, buddy phone. Good. Yep. Very nice. The buddy phone here calls an ally by having an ally, as I talked about before. When you start playing those mini games, um, you get an extra player. At the same time, though, you also now get this person to help you. You also get access to their character dice block. Okay. So now you can see Daisy's got three, 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 four, four. Yeah. So it depends if you're trying to get precision numbers or get to a certain spot. But also, when now Luigi rolls, automatically you'll see Peach appear behind him to give a little bit of a bonus. So Luigi rolled a one, which is not good. But oh, they got a two. <laughs> wow, good job. Good that, job, Luigi. That was. No. Oh. That would have happened to me if I was playing. Yeah. We'll see if Bowser, the last person in the stand, he can try to get to the, get to the spot. Four. Will that be enough? I think it'll be one spot short. Oh, yeah. Ah. Neck and neck. Everyone at one spot short. But we'll show one more mini game real quick, and then we'll jump in to show off Toad's Rec Room. Great. Cool. And then you, I knew once you do get that star, you do end up moving. The star, Toadette will go to somewhere else on the board. Okay. He goes there. Oh, now it's we're 1v3. Getting, oh, 1v3. It's everyone versus Bowser, a very misunderstood character. Dust buddies. Yeah. So Bowser will have one giant vacuum cleaner versus the other three players have three vacuum cleaners, but they have to move together. Oh, okay. Because they can't, they'll kind of, they're chained to the same, the same device. So okay. The goal will be who can vacuum up the most dust. I'm cheering for the underdog here. Come on, Bowser. Are you cheering for Bowser? Of course. Yeah. Of course. He's misunderstood. I bet on him. 
He means well. He tries. Uh, 17 seconds left. I feel like they could... A good strategy for them to be to block him, right? They could. Yeah. Uh, There's one little bit of dust down the bottom. Like, box him in right here. They are right there. They're blocking him. Yeah. Ah, there it is. I think Bowser won. I think Bowser yeah. got Yeah. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Bowser's got a much bigger bag. Good effort. Yes. Good job, Bowser. Who's Bowser?